sanctuary of Olympia, where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. This woman has disrespected the gods and shown contempt for tradition. Please, I only wanted to see her son You have dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first, then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them, disguised as a man, no less. And why is any of this a crime? For a married woman, there's too much. Temptation. Who are you? Kalipatira. I just wanted to see my son compete. My family has a proud lineage at the Olympic Games. My father, brother's nephew, and son have all won wreaths. Do I not have the right to see them? Enough of your lies. She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me! Prove I have a right to see my son compete! You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. I should find Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove his mother's innocence. Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son, and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband. She's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. <laughs> Do you know Kalipatira? I've seen that one, all right. Always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, how disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man, is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me. Your mother told me you're competing in the Olympics. Just like my grandfather, the great Diagoras himself. That's good to know, but I need more. The priestess of Dimitra has accused your mother of sacrilege. Is she all right? What happened? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you, and I need to prove that she had a right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. Hm. The poem The Agoras of Rhodes. Dedicated by Pindarus himself. To Kay. Always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatira has an admirer. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly.
today to carry out the will of the gods. To carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! You found the evidence you were looking for? Yes, Kalipatira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son and people who know her. She is a good woman who loves the games and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate.